So this is a special lecture. I love introducing you to all the bioinformatics stuff, but we have to limit it at some point to avoid turning this into a bioinformatics class. What I want you to focus on for this lecture is the conceptual ideas. In particular, physics and evolution, they are two sides of the same coin, but it depends on what aspects you're stressing. But you need to be aware of both, and in particular need to know what you should ask a colleague who might be better on the other aspect. The other part that you should think of is that many of the concepts we introduce are similar, but they might be interpreted in different ways. In physics, the domains we talked about, the units that folded, right? I introduced them primarily in the sense of arguing that those were the stable units, it would be difficult to be smaller and it would be difficult to be larger for them to fold efficiently. In terms of bioinformatics, we rather tend to interpret domain as the units of evolution. I might steal a domain from another protein, such as that voltage sensor. It turns out that they are in most cases the same type of domains. And that makes sense, right? If the individual units that I steal from another fold folds independently, they're going to be stable in my protein too. While if they were somehow intermixed with everything, in general those mutations wouldn't work. So either is true, but it depends on what aspect of it you emphasize. Hopefully you will be guided a little bit by these study questions and if nothing else I hope to have whet your appetite a bit for bioinformatics.